One solution to try and combat the rising cost of food prices. This is ABC Newcastle and ABC New South Wales. The major supermarkets were never going to fare well under the competition and pricing microscope that a recent Senate inquiry focused on them. You might have heard yesterday that that inquiry report was released and suggested that the duopoly should be forcibly broken up if it engages in anti-competitive behaviour. The committee also said that new rules should be designed to strengthen regulation and prevent price gouging. In all, the Greens chaired inquiry made 14 recommendations, I think, including measures to make product unit prices clearer and grocery promotions less confusing. Good luck if you're hoping that much will come of that. Some frustrated customers are taking matters into their own hands, though, with a community-based network distribution business called Box Divi gaining a bit of traction. You may know of Box Divi or other alternatives where people share the cost of buying in wholesale and then distributing amongst themselves. Jane Travers-Drapes is from the company running it. She's here to tell us a little bit more about what they do at Box Divi. G'day, Jane. How are you going? Hi, Paul. How are you? Good. Good. Don't want to scare our listeners off. It's not Amway, Herbal Life, Avon. It's not multi-level marketing, is it? No, no. I'm actually a farmer on the mid-north coast. Um, Some years ago, I used to have a co-op and we'd go to the market. And like most co-ops, they fall over because nobody wants to get up in the morning and the kids become teenagers and need you. Yep. Um, So I started uh, Box Divi. um, Western Sydney Diabetes also approached us. Um, Diabetes 2 is on the rise. Uh, can we get fresh food that's inexpensive, that the um, system can be scalable? We're bottom up rather than top down. So our members and our what we call hubsters, the people that run the hubs, uh, tell us what they need and we create the app technology for it. Okay. So do so you liaise directly with farms themselves? I mean, you're going to go out and get a couple of boxes of oranges or do you just go to the markets? No, we have both. Um, they have a growers, this is a misnomer, they actually have a growers market at the market where the growers can bring their produce in. Oh, so, yeah. you know, they don't have the facility and resources to start driving around and dropping off a box here and a box there. Um, so, and we're large enough now that they will actually drop off to our warehouse as well. Um, so there is a combination, but we on Thursday have a chat with them. They are literally on their track to going out and saying, oh, broccoli's, um, you know, in season, I'm about to pick, and we say how many? Um, and so it'll go on the app with our members. I think one of the things that um, the hubster who runs the hub in a carport or garage, they actually earn a bit of income. Um, and the thing, the discussion we've got at the moment about the Senate committee is transparency. Mm. And I, th- I think reading the uh, committee uh, report, they've lost a, an opportunity for transparency. Um, it makes sense to have a, a, an easy solution. Box Divi actually show what we pay the farmers. And you can then see what you're um, going to pay as well. So you can see the difference. So typically um, a supermarket will charge between 20 and 30 cents um, to the farmer in a dollar. That's what they'll pay them. Yep. And then uh, the rest of the 80 cents margin, um, the, the, super, the supermarket customer pays it. So if they can actually see, and this is the makes sense solution, if they can actually see what the farmer or the grocery um, supplier has been paid, then they can make up their own decision. Do I want to pay 80 cents margin? Um, Box City pays 60 cents in the dollar to their farmers. 15 percent um, cents in the dollar will go to the hubster and 25 cents to Box City. So we can operate our trucks and our support team. Yeah. So... I've tried this. I've tried the, you know, the bulk purchase and distribution amongst family. It becomes hard work. How organised do you need to be to, to make sure that it succeeds? Because there'd be people listening who thought, oh, yeah, you know, we get the box of origins, oranges and three go to Auntie Joan and, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's all seemed too hard. Ah, Why is it simple? So, so it is simple because we have an app and now the technology will do all the things we want it to do. So basically, um, you know, in the old days, as you're saying, if Julie goes to the market, she loves eggplant and will come back with eggplant. And everyone has to have eggplant. With Box TV, you can actually customise. So as a group, you do have to hit a minimum. So it might say, Buck Joy, you need to buy three as the group, not three per person. Once we hit the three, then if we want the fourth or fifth one, we'll get it. So it's actually not box by box. It's actually we just have to hit some minimums as a group. And there are 50 families usually in a hub. 
Mm. So, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. Um, pricing difference. I'll give you an example. Currently, kale, we pay uh, farmers a dollar. Supermarkets pay them a dollar. We charge our members a dollar seventy, and supermarkets three ninety to four fifty. That's a big difference. Yeah. Okay, and you reckon you're gaining a bit of traction? Well, we have uh, 12,000 families now. We have 250 hubs in New South Wales and ACT. Uh, we're looking for more hubsters. So if people want to earn a bit of income, um, they need four to five hours a week to do it. Um, and we give them everything. They don't pay anything. It's not a franchise. We give them training, coach, community building, um, and training. So it's it's a real community builder. Okay. And it's All right, Jane. Neighbors. Jane, look, I appreciate you coming on and explaining one alternative to uh, to letting the uh, supermarkets rule the roost and obviously you're trying to help farmers a bit, so thank you for that. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity and, and let's see more transparency. Jane Travers-Drapes, who's from an organisation, a company called Box Divi. There may be others. Perhaps you've got some experience with it as well. Let us know this business of... I've always found it too hard in the, in the past, you know... <laughs> getting the case, buying a pallet of pumpkins and then trying to find some home for them. Um, you may have a, an alternative solution as well or know of, know of other ways of dealing directly with farmers so that both the farmers and the consumers benefit. 0487 if there's something you can tell us about your experiences or 1300 1233 as consumers try to fight back against the, uh, the duopoly, the supermarkets.